All right, guys, so if you watched my previous video, I showed you or unveiled my new Chanel bag that I purchased and um, a lot of the things that I want to do with this bag. So this bag, we're gonna talk, this particular video, we're gonna talk about um, sending it over, getting it refurbished and sending it over to the leather surgeon. So if you wanna see a little bit about that, stay tuned. All right, guys, so if you saw the previous video, I talked about me becoming a consignment shopper. Yes, I do shop for um, designer bags and things like that. So if you're interested in Chanel, Louis, Gucci, whatever, please definitely hit me on Instagram at ESSM1, or you can email me. I'll put my email and all this information in the uh, videos below. I am 70 bags sold to date, and I started in June. So yeah, I'm really, really successful with it. I do it on the side. It's more of a hobby business, but um, if you're looking for a pre-loved bag in pretty good condition, 100% authentic, people, 100% authentic, then definitely hit me up. But this particular video, we're talking about this particular bag, and uh, if you saw in the previous video, I got this particular bag. Now, this bag is called the Chanel Double Flap Mademoiselle 2.5 by Lambskin. Uh, it's like a whole plethora um, uh, of, of words, medium, double flap, all that kind of stuff. And I purchased this bag with the intent of sending it over to the leather, leather surgeon to get refurbished. Now, what are you saying? What is a leather surgeon? Well, the leather surgeon is the same exact company that Chanel uses to do repairs on their bags. So if you ever walked into a Chanel store and purchased a bag and needed something repaired, they sent it off to the leather surgeon to get done. Well, I'm just gonna skip the middleman out and go straight to the leather surgeon and get it done. Um, so I want to get this bag refurbished. So, so what are some of the things that I want to get done to this bag? Well, first and foremost is if you, if, if you, I forgot what year it is, but this, any bag made, I think it's, 2006 and older they all those bags were made or were gilded in 24 karat gold and so this bag was one of those bags it was gilded in the 24 karat gold and I would love to get it re-dipped back and get its uh, original color so as you can see it is gold but it is kind of turning a little bit I'm gonna turn it a little the CC is turning a little bit, so I would love to get it re-dipped or re-gilded in the gold. The very next thing I would love to do is turn this particular strap. Um, while it is a beautiful strap, I would love to get it lengthened a little bit so we can get it, um, so I can wear this bag as a crossbody. And then last but not least, uh, we're gonna give the bag a bag spa. So it's gonna, basically what they're gonna do is go over the entire bag, reshape the bag, so all the bag, all these crumbles and all this fumbling and any any kind of mishap or any scratches or anything like that they're going to fix those things and basically bring the bag back to new the bag is for a 20 year old bag yes this bag was made in 1997 the bag is in really, really, really good condition. Now, the only thing the leather surgeons can't do is re is regain the puffiness on the actual leather, but that's okay. Um, I'm okay with that. Other than that, I mean, you can tell it doesn't really have a whole bunch of scratches. The leather is still in really, really good condition. It just um, just probably needs a little redying, bring a little bit of bringing back to life, and of course, this is my main concern: getting this structure back. I would love to get this back, the structure back into the bag. Um, opening the bag, and another thing I want them to talk to uh, work on is, of course, getting out the scratches here, and then the dents. That are there but other than that the back is 100 it's clean on the inside it's the previous owner kept really really good um really really good care of the bag so i have already so the process is uh you go to the you get their email address and you email over to the owner um and i've already done this i've told him and sent him pictures of the bag and told him what are the things i want to do and he, and he gave me his recommendation and he told me what he feels like the bag needs. Now, according to him, he feels like the bag only needs a bag spa. He doesn't feel like the bag needs regilding, but I do. And so I really want him to do that. 
and um, the structure. He doesn't, uh, I don't think he realized the structure needs to be done. So they've already quoted me a price, um, but I'm having a feeling that once we get this sent in and he sees it, I think it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So we'll wait till it comes back to uh, go over that. So yeah, so now that we've done that and I have agreed to everything that he sent, he sent me over a shipping label. So I already printed out the shipping label and I've already printed out um, that he gave me an instruction guide and stuff to fill out for information form. So I already filled out the information form. I've already filled out I got the printing label. All I need to do now is just ship this bag back. So I just wanted to do this video really quick with you guys because I wanted to do a before and after so you can see what this bag looked like prior um, to me shipping. Now I've done a lot of research on this guy. It looks like he takes about three weeks to do it and that's from me sending it and then coming back it sounds like it's about a three week process. And so I'm not in no rush to, you know, if I get it back by Christmas, that's good, fine enough for me. This is, I guess, essentially my Christmas present, but we'll see how this goes. So yeah, guys, I'm excited to see how this goes. And if this goes over really well and the bag comes back looking spotless, I'm probably going to try to do another one to do it for resale purposes. I'm nervous as hell, but we'll see how that goes. So, yeah guys, wish me luck. This is just the first part of the video. The second part of the video will be when I get the bag and so we'll All right, y'all. So, I have finally got my box back from a uh, leather surgeon. It has been I sent the box off that week. That was like December 7th. And I just got the box back February 1st. So that's been a long, long time. And I think it had to do with a lot to do with the services that I got. Um, and the fact that I missed the email. So I probably would have got it back a week earlier. But here we are. So I got the box. I have not even opened it yet. I wanted to open it on camera with you all. So you can see it first with me. So let's go ahead and start the opening process. Try not to cut into what I got. All right. So here we go. The box is open. All right. So off the top, we got the little box. We got the car from Leather Surgeon. And this is basically a certificate of authentication, basically saying that the product Chanel Vintage 2.55 is authentic. So it comes with a letter of authenticity. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let's talk about a couple of things that I did get. I got <clears throat> the chain lengthening to crossbody. I also got <clears throat> uh, the bag spa treatment, and I also got the the, the silk the silk the, the hardware replated with twenty four karat gold. Um, <clears throat> the total cost for this was 400 and something dollars just for anybody who wanted to know. Also, um, we did a lot of talking back and forth because they were, uh, they weren't uh, unsure if they were going to be able to do it because a lot of the hardware had become hard, uh, hard to take off. But I think he, he was able to get it done. He said the hardware was kind of hard and it was falling. It's kind of like broken in certain pieces. So he wasn't sure, but I said, go ahead and go for it because I wanted it done. So he went for it and he was able to get it done. So here it is. So if you, so here we go, let's go. Okay. So it comes with this cute little dust bag it comes with, okay. I had put it in a fashion file dust bag because I didn't want to send, it say don't send dust bags, but I sent it in dust bag anyway. So, all right. So we're taking it out of the fashion file dust bag. All right. Come all. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Mama excited. Mama excited. I'm so excited. I've seen so many of these videos and I'm just going to pull it open up a little bit. Okay. And so we just never know. Oh, oh my God. 
Oh my God, look. <gasps> oh my God. Look at the hardware. It is beautiful. Oh my God. It looks brand spanking new. Oh my God, that looks. Ugh. Okay, so let's just go ahead and open it here. Okay, and so, oh my God, look at, even this is new, brand new. Yeah, he, they did a good job of scratching out. Oh, I cannot wait to wear this. All right, so let's open it. Okay, so here it just, I mean, they refit. Oh, the thing looks like a brand new bag, fresh out the store. Look at, wow. So this is it open. Wow. So we'll just go ahead and open this. Take this. They redid the the inside. So the in, in, the inside wasn't bad, but <clears throat> it looks so much better now. Oh my god. Oh wow. The structure so if you remember previously, the structure, it was caving in on the sides. So now look at it. It is not caving in anymore. Look at. It's got structure on the sides. The bottom is perfect. The edge wear. They really did a good job. Wow. <clears throat> and there it is my Chanel vintage flap oh my god and all its gorgeousness look at the heart I mean it looks they, the, it looks <clears throat> I'm glad I went for it and did it it looks oh my god this was worth the wait the back Okay, so here's the back. Yeah. I am like 100% happy. It is like, like, don't use perfect. Oh my God. My baby is beautiful. Look at. Yeah, we did a good job. I can't stop looking at the gold. It's just the gold makes it stand out so much. It says, <clears throat> yep, we did a good job here. He did a really, really fantastic job on regaining it, regaining the structure. It's not slumped in anymore. Did a really good job. All right, guys. So <clears throat> that's it on my... Um, that's it on the leather surgeon. I would definitely recommend it. Now I have one more company I would love to try on with my other Chanel bag. We'll see. But um, I don't know. I'm in love. I love it. It just like I almost <laughs> I almost like don't even wanna use it. It's so pretty. I don't even want to use it. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.